Hi YouTube, it's me. Um, I decided to make another video. Um, I've been getting a lot of responses in my inbox. Um, just some support from people, so I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, no comments on my videos, but that's cool. I'm getting some subscriptions and people are writing me on my inbox, giving me advice and getting to know me, which is really cool. I didn't really expect that. that people were like, oh, what's your life story? Or, hey, what did you major in college? Um, so it's really cool. Um, but I wanted to make a video about something that's been irking me lately. Um, so, and I'm pretty sure the rest of you ladies can relate. The thing that's been irking me is when I tell people that my boyfriend is in the military. Um, their first response is, really? Where is he? And I say, Texas. First response they're going to say is, how can you trust him? How can you trust him? He's so far. How do you know he's not having crazy rendezvous with girls all over the place you know how do you know this stuff and my answer is I don't know but you don't know my boyfriend you know and then you're kind of making it sound like I'm stupid for dating him and pretty much questioning my intelligence you know um, and I know there's a lot of uh, military girlfriends that get cheated on military people that get cheated on too um, but for them to automatically assume that this is what's going to happen is really, really irritating. Um, and so I don't know what to do. I don't know how to respond. Um, I have a story that actually uh, is provoking this vlog about it. Um, I had a friend at work go um, tell my mom, like, Tiffany's going to get cheated on, and I don't know why she's with him, and blah, blah. And my mom doesn't even really talk to me about my relationship. So it just irritated me that she was talking to someone that has no idea about my relationship, knows my boyfriend but didn't know who he was talking about at the time, um, you know, and just opened up to him and started talking. And now I feel like her her thought process was already what he was saying, so he just confirmed it. Um, so it just irritated me. And so when he told me what was said in the break room later, I was like, what the are you serious? You really told my mom that? He's like, yeah, honey, I remember I was his age, and I did this, that, and the third. And I'm like, okay, but Ryan's not like that. He's like, Ryan? I was like, yeah, remember? He used to, you know him. And he was like, oh, my God, I didn't know that was him. Blah, blah, he goes off. And I'm like, yeah, so thank you very much. And I walked out of the break room. I was thoroughly pissed off. Um, and I'm pretty sure you guys can relate to that a little if your parents have any type of misconception of the relationship and someone who they think is your friend has these thoughts and so my mom's probably thinking that's my thoughts I don't know um, or she he knows something that's going on that I'm not telling her so I was very very pissed but it happens all the time when I meet people or when I talk about my relationship with my friends and how we're thinking about getting married and they're like oh my god it's so soon why do you can you even trust him blah 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 and I'm like why do people automatically go to the fact that you can't trust him you can't even really trust someone that lives down the street from you you know I've had girls who I've had girlfriends whose boyfriends cheated on them and they live together you know so it's not I don't understand how the automatically the military means he's gonna either beat me or cheat on me or leave me with kids by myself you know it's stupid so it's just really irritating and um, I feel like people are really ignorant to the fact that a lot of military men have successful uh, relationships and marriages for life and um, it's just irritating um, before they even know him you know before they even see the change in him um, and he was never the type of dude that would cheat on me in the beginning anyway you know so it's like okay well, all of a sudden he's in the military you think he's got some boost of sex sex appeal I don't know it's just irritating so I don't know what to do uh, advice on that um, how do you ladies deal with that a part of me just wants to ignore it now because it's really just freaking just ignorance uh, I'll let you have your opinions and we can be on our merry way I know that he loves me I know that he doesn't cheat on me I know he wouldn't cheat on me I know that you know we talk all throughout the day and you know if it comes out to the fact that I'm wrong you know I'll be taken by surprise but you know I'm really putting my faith in God more so than him 
you know, and I pray about it all the time, um, not on him being faithful, but just that this is the right man for me. And, you know, if he's not, then God's going to have something uh, come to light, you know, so we'll see. But right now I'm really just putting my faith in that, that I'm making the right decision. I know who I'm with <clears throat> and I pray about it daily. So, you know, I'm not going to stress myself over it. Um, so what do you ladies do? Is that the right way to take it? I'm guessing, you know, that is, but let me know. Um, also another thing I asked in my first video is well, how do I pray, approach holidays? It's going to be our first holiday of us splitting together and I don't know what to do. I feel like when, cause he lives like an hour and a half away from me and I'll be there when he gets off the plane, you know, we're, um, we're planning a surprise thing when he gets here, um, with his mother. So it's really cool, but, um, I don't know what to do as far as Thanksgiving. Should I split Thanksgiving? Um, since he lives so far away, I'll be taking him away from his family, and he hasn't seen them in five months, so part of me feels like I'm selfish for that, but the other part of me feels like when we get married, we're going to be doing this anyway, so let me know what you guys think. There's no way we're going to have a joint Thanksgiving this year. Um, my uncles, I have five uncles, they don't know him, they haven't met him yet, so there's no way of saying, hey, let's join a Thanksgiving with this strange family. I'm not going to do that just yet. Um, but I do want them to meet him, and they're all going to be here for like a week, so there's going to be a time where they can meet him, but uh, I don't know if Thanksgiving should be that time, um, especially when he has a huge family. I have a medium-sized family, so let me know your advice. Um, I know my mom's going to have a fit either way, but I really want to... I really want to have her meet him in this new light and see if this will help the relationship between him and her and I don't know if it will but we'll see. So let me know. Um, I'm really stressed out about it because I don't want to tear him away from his family. His mom at first told him there's no way I could spend the night because we're not married and they don't want to set a bad example for his little sister which I totally understand but last night she told me if I needed to I could sleep on their air mattress or um, guest room so you know I told her your mom loves me you know she's breaking her own rules because she loves me and he's like whatever whatever so but you know I don't know what to do so I'm really just kind of like open to any suggestions let me know uh, this is kind of like my rant of the day. Uh, I have another video that I made last night, so I'll probably post that later, but I don't have time right now, so I'm just directly uploading to YouTube um, for right now. Um, I've been working a lot of hours lately, so you can tell my voice is a little scratchy. I finally have a day off today, so I'll probably get to it today. Right now I'm going to the gym um, for like an hour and a half. I really need it. Um, and then going to lunch with a friend, and then going home to relax, so... Uh, Veterans Day also happy Veterans Day my boyfriend's super excited he gets to go to Applebee's and all those places meet free and he's like well if we were married you could go with me and I'm like dude I'm not gonna marry you just for free food but that does sound good <laughs> so uh, happy Veterans Day to everyone and it's an honor to be in a relationship with someone who's serving our country and I don't think anyone really know um, I don't think a lot of people realize how big of a deal it is um, until you're thrown into the world and um, I think, uh, you know, that was one reason why they, God had him come back into my life. I didn't realize the, the servicemen in the world, how much they sacrifice. And, you know, it's a shame that I've been totally ignorant on the issue. And now I feel like it's my duty to know more. Not because I'm with him, but because I'm in this country. So, that's a blessing as well. So, I hope everyone has a great day. If you're going out to Applebee's, Golden Corral, or Chili's for free, you deserve it. You deserve way more than that. And um, have an awesome day. Thank you for serving. And you, uh, everyone else on YouTube, thank you so much for the support, messages, comments, subscribes. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.